Good morning, everyone. Let us begin today with 199-199. Immaculate Mary, your praises we sing. You reign now in heaven with Jesus our King. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. In heaven the blessed, your glory proclaim, on earth we your children Invoke your fair name. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria. Ave, Ave Maria. And so we begin our celebration by blessing ourselves. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with each of you. Amen. And coming into the Lord's presence, we ask for forgiveness and healing, especially for the times when we were too stubborn to open our minds and our hearts and willing to look at other possibilities, not just what we want. Lord Jesus, royal ruler and humble servant, Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, son of Mary, the Christ bearer, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, living among us, Lord have, mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who chose the mother of your son to be our mother also, grant to us that persevering in penance and prayer for the salvation of the world, we may furthermore effectively each day the reign of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The apostles and the brothers who were in Judea heard that the Gentiles too have accepted the word of God. So when Peter went up to Jerusalem, the circumcised believers confronted him, saying, You entered the house of uncircumcised people and ate with them. Peter began and explained it to them step by step, saying, I was at prayer in the city of Joppa when in a trance I had a vision, something resembling a large sheet coming down, lowered from the sky by its four corners, and it came to me. Looking intently into it, I observed and saw the four-legged animals of the earth, the wild beasts, the reptiles, and the birds of the sky. I also heard a voice say to me, get up, Peter slaughter and eat. But I said, certainly not, sir, because nothing profane or unclean has ever entered my mouth. But the second time, a voice from heaven answered, what God has made clean, you are not to call profane. This happened three times, and then everything was drawn up again into the sky. Just then, three men appeared at the house where we were, who had been sent to me from Caesarea. The Spirit told me to accompany them without discriminating. These six brothers also went with me, and we entered the man's house. He related to us how he had seen the angels standing in his house, saying, 
Send someone to Joppa and summon Simon, who is also called Peter, who will speak words to you, by which you and all your household will be saved. As I began to speak, the Holy Spirit fell upon them as it had upon us at the beginning. And I remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said, John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit. If then God gave them the same gift he gave to us when we came to believe in the Lord Jesus, who was I to be able to hinder God? When they heard this, they stopped objecting and glorified God, saying, God has then granted life-giving repentance to the Gentiles too. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A thirst is my soul for the living God. A thirst is my soul for God. As the hind longs for the running waters, so my soul longs for you, O God. A thirst is my soul for God, the living God. When shall I go and behold the face of God? A thirst is my soul for the living God. Send forth your life and your fidelity. They shall lead me on and bring me to your holy mountain to your dwelling place. A thirst is the living God. Then will I go into the altar of God, the God of my gladness and joy. Then I will give you thanks upon the harp, O God, my God. This is my soul for the living God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep, and mine know me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said, Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter the sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice, as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all of his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him, because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him, because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. And who, all, who come, who, all who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends in Christ, when Pope Francis was elected, as the successor to St. Peter. He was chosen from a country that nobody had been chosen from for a thousand years, South America, a country of the third world. As I always believe, it is God's spirit who chooses. 
just as he chooses you and I in order to make decisions. Some people today, Catholics, are not happy with Pope Francis because he's stirring up some moments in our lives. He's trying to help us see things that we have been unwilling to see. And what is it that we don't see? Well, he describes it. For him, the church is the people, all people in the world, not just a select few, not just some who think we got it all together, we know exactly what God is asking us to do, but we do what we want. And so Pope Francis is, he came out of, a, out of a third world experience. And he's trying to help us see that we are each other's brothers and sisters, that nobody is to be excluded. <clears throat> And as we listen to Jesus, the Good Shepherd today, he is getting the same treatment from the people at that time as some of the Catholics today in the world are doing for Francis. Peter got the same treatment. They didn't like it because he was trying to tell them what God wants and not what we want. And when that happens, nobody is happy because we know we have to change. We have to see with different eyes, and not just the blood, the eyes, the physical eyes, but the eyes of the heart that God speaks to. So what are we gonna do about it? Are we gonna keep complaining what the Pope isn't doing? Are we willing to change ourselves and have a different perspective, most of all to realize that nobody is excluded from God's friendship. Nobody. But you and I have different opinions about that, don't we? We love to put other people out of our reach, and I don't have anything to do with them. I shouldn't have anything to do with them. They don't belong. Rejection is one of those things in our lives, and we all have experienced it. But we're very strong in doing it and continue doing it, excluding people, excluding them from our friendship, excluding them from God's friendship and love. And so when we hear the story about the Good Shepherd, the first thing about sheep is that they have to know who the shepherd is. And he calls them by name. He calls each and every one of us by name. God says to each one of us, by name I have called you. By name I have redeemed you. By name you are precious in my eyes. Now I might want to believe that about myself, but God says that to every person, whether I like him or whether I don't. Nobody's excluded from God. And that's what makes us angry sometimes and frustrated because it seems that people are changing. But you know, Jesus faced that same situation. Remember today in the gospel? They didn't understand what he was talking about because they didn't want to hear. He was changing their mind. He was trying to say, open. Nobody is to be excluded from God's love and God's forgiveness and God's compassion. So how dare you do that? And Peter didn't quite give the answer, but he'd simply told, oh, I saw this table coming down and suddenly it told me to eat whatever the Lord puts in front of me. And he said, well, but I've never eaten some of that food. God creates what God created is good, but we often turn it into something else. So today as we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima, again, Mary is the one who states up front, I am the handmaid of the Lord. I am the servant of the Lord. That is what Jesus was telling us. I came not to be served, but to serve. 
But we got it the, the wrong way around. We're, we're putting all kinds of things upon Mary to do, and she's trying to tell us, listen to my son. Listen to my son. She never put herself into the position that I got it all. And then sometimes, you know, when people hear about apparitions and all of those things, it is amazing what they can come up with and the kind of prayers and things that they, uh, novenas that they create as though that's the end and the be all. And it isn't. Mary would be the first one to tell us it isn't. She says, listen to my son, not to me. Listen to my son. He is the center of our life. He should be the center of our life. St. Therese, of course, at the age of ten and a half, she was in such a depression that the doctor gave her only two hours to live. And then on Pentecost, on Pentecost Sunday, she looked at Our Lady, that they had a statue of Our Lady in her room, and she looked at that lady and she smiled at her. And here's what Teresa said. The expression of Our Lady's face was inf ineffably sweet, tender, and compassionate. But what touched me to the very depth of my soul was her gracious smile. That's Therese, and she was cured at that point of that depression. Wouldn't it be wonderful for all the people who are depressed today that they could look at Our Lady and see her smile and know that she is there for us, but she always points to Jesus. Mary, the last thing she wants is to be put on a pedestal. She is the one that lived the gospel teaching of Jesus. I have come to serve, not to be served. And you and I can do no better. It is interesting that Pope Francis here compared the church to a field hospital. And some people got really upset about that. What's the field hospital about? It's about us. Every one of us who needs God's love, God's forgiveness, God's compassion, somebody who's there to help us point towards the Lord, towards wholeness. But we're too dumb to see it, just like the people in Jesus' time didn't hear, didn't see what he's trying to tell us, and we are very slow learners ourselves. So maybe today, let us ask Mary, to help us see what she saw, to help us accept her relationship to God, which is one always of service, which doesn't exclude anyone, but includes everyone. Is it gonna be easy? No, it's a pretty messy situation, isn't it? To have to accept everyone the way God accepts you and I. And unless, you know, we see ourselves as being the one in need, we will never see anybody else in need. It begins with me. It begins with you. That's Mary. That's Mary. I am the servant of the Lord. I'm here, Lord, to do your will. And you and I can do no better. So today, let us join our prayers with those of Mary, the first to hear the good news and then put it into use. That women and men in lay ministries call upon the strength of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we pray to the Lord. Lord that nations and their leaders work towards true economic justice and equality, we pray to the Lord. That refugees be welcomed and families be reunited, we pray to the Lord. Lord hear that young people like Mary be open to God's call and say yes to serving others 
in religious life, in everyday life, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for all the members of the Little Flower Society and those who continue to leave their petitions here at the shrine and in the museum, that God, through the intercession of St. Therese, will answer all of our needs according to God's will, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray today for Cor and her family and for all of us who are always searching for the Lord, that we always be open and respond with a yes, yes to God, we pray to the Lord. And so, precious and loving God, we thank you for the example that you have given us in Mary. She welcomed you, and her word was always yes to you. She never said no. Help us to do the same when you ask us to do your will. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. The offertory collection that we take up is for the upkeep of the shrine. We thank you for your generosity. And let us now also go back to page 199, and we will sing the third verse. church upon earth, and bless Holy Mary, the land of our birth. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave, Ave Maria. my sisters and brothers, let us pray that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive, O Lord, we ask the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered no requests be made in vain. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. And, your and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and his, in his rising the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat with it, for this is my body 
which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Daniel, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her faithful spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Therese, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we give those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with each one of you. And Thank you. And now let us reach out and share the peace of Christ with each other. Peace and love be with you. God bless. Peace be with you. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Blood of Christ. of Christ, the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, Amen. the body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. Of Christ. The body 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 of Christ. God bless you. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. The body of Christ, 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 the body of Christ. Amen.
He who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And so we pray. And this prayer today is from St. Augustine. Holy Mary, help those who are miserable, strengthen those who are discouraged, comfort those who are sorrowful, pray for your people, plead for the clergy, intercede for all women and those consecrated to God. May all who venerate you experience your assistance and protection. Be ready to aid us when we pray and bring back to us the answers to our prayers. Make it your continual concern to pray for the people of God, for you were blessed by God and were made worthy to bear the Redeemer of the world. Amen. Amen. The Lord is with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is now ended. Let us go in peace. And so we sing, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Jesus, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of death. Amen. Saint Therese, pray for us. Have a wonderful day. Thank God bless. You. Thank you.